Congressman Paul, to you, on the subject of one of the core debates in the party over social issues, gay marriage. You've been quoted as saying any association that's voluntary should be permissible in a free society, and you've expressed your opposition to a constitutional ban on gay marriage. Many of your rivals on that stage disagree. Why are they wrong? I'm afraid I haven't been able to get most of your question. I know you brought up the subject of gay marriage, but I didn't get the point of what you're saying. I, I can't hear it that well. Why are those on the stage who support a constitutional amendment oh, banning constitutional gay marriage amendment. wrong? Okay, well, if you believe in federalism, it's better that we allow these things to be left in the state. My personal belief is that, that marriage uh, is, a, is a religious ceremony, and it should be dealt with religiously. The state really shouldn't be involved. The state, both federal and, and, and state-wise, got involved mostly for health reasons 100 years or so ago. But this should be a religious, religious matter. All voluntary associations, whether they're economic or social, should be protected by, by the law. But to amend the Constitution is totally unnecessary to define something that's already in the dictionary. We do know what marriage is all about. We don't need a new definition or argue over definition and, and have an amendment to the Constitution. It, to me, it seems so uh, unnecessary to do that. Uh, it, it's very simply that uh, the states uh, should be out of that business and the states, I mean, the states should be able to handle this. The federal government should be out of it. There's no need for the federal government to be involved in this. You can accomplish this without waiting waiting five or ten or fifteen years, you can go and put the authority can be put in the states by mere voting in the Congress.